Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and that's a 55 Chev and she is hot, baby. Look at those flames, like ow, burnt myself maybe. She is absolutely gorgeous. This has got the real flame look to it, man. Just looking sweet as can be. The chrome's all looking good, the stance is looking good and wait till you see the underside of this car. That's right, the bottom side of this car is finished just as nice as the top, guys. She is absolutely gorgeous. Of course, all the door handles have been shaved. I gotta get in here to the key fob to open up the door. Bring that out here and look at that. Pop her right open. Look at that interior. Custom door panels, custom dash, custom center console, custom seats, and there is not a back seat. This baby's been mini tubbed. She is an amazing piece. Just beautiful workmanship on this car. Absolutely gorgeous. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment whatsoever. That means we own this beautiful Chevy. She's got a GM Performance uh, 454 under the hood. Looking awesome. Of course, you can tell it's 55 by the uh, small uh, tail lights. Chrome on the back bumpers looking good. As you look down the side, she is sharp as can be. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do consignment. That means we own this car. So you know we took our time and picked it out right. Now you can call Tom anytime at 248-974-9513 and he'll tell you all about this beautiful machine. Forget, we've always got new stuff coming in. 
so you got to check our website often we got another semi truck here man it is semi truck season Get, uh, he's waving at me too <laughs> Now listen, I love the deep throaty sound of this baby. Just absolutely badass right here. And it's a 55. My favorite year, I think. I tell you, everybody loves these tri fives. And then one that, that is done to this level, just an amazing build. Now we're coming up here on our main facility of 15100 Keel Street. And we're going to put this baby up in the air and we're going to show off the bottom side of this baby right now. So stick with us. All right, I promised you it would be good. Look underneath this 55. Look at this back half job, man. You want to talk about sweet. Um, I'm going to show you the shut off right here while we're here. The shut off for the batteries right here. And then this is the popper for the trunk. And then if you need to jump the battery, there's a jump lug right here for the positive. Um, as you can see, she's got some balonies on her. Some big boys. We got coil over, not coil overs. We got airbags holding it up in the back. We got flex lines here. We got the fuel lines up in there. We got disc brakes out here. We got the center section. Obviously, it's been narrowed. It's a four nine inch. It's aftermarket stuff, and it is looking tough as can be. It's a four eleven uh, setup in there, and you can see the uh, four bars here holding her in here are all chromed up. The crossbar is also chromed up. And then look at the exhaust. Look how they tucked it up in there, so nice and neat. And then it's all jet coated also. And you can see that uh, everything has got, I mean, this thing's got braces and cross members going in every direction. And then on the bottom side of the car to help keep down noise and everything, they've got this uh, bed liner material. It's also painted the same uh, color as the car. You see all the body mounts are all brand new on it. The back side of the rockers look good. Trans cooler here. Uh, we got some small Magnaflow mufflers up here. They're uh, kind of like glass packs. Turbo 400 trans. Um, just everything under here is looking absolutely beautiful. You might want to invest in a few mirrors because you probably want to show off all this workmanship down here. It's got a high torque starter on it, 454 upstairs. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. Lower control arms, of course, we got an aftermarket cross member, aftermarket. Um, uh, motor mounts, that's what those things are called, motor mounts. Got aftermarket motor mounts. We got rack and pinion steering. It is power steering. Uh, we got Willwood disc brakes. It's got aftermarket spindles in it. Upper control arms are also aftermarket. These all look like they're either chromed or polished stainless steel. Of course, the bumper's been cut down and it is a new chromed unit. Um, everything under here is painted, looking good. Everything's got new hardware. Look up inside these wheel wells here. I tell you what, the paint job on the inside of the wheel wells looks better than most paint jobs do on the outside of these cars. Um, we've got a uh, great look and lightweight uh, weld wheel racing uh, rim, and I'm looking for the size. That's why I'm running out of breath here. 26, seven and a half by 15s on these uh, Mickey Thompsons. And then you see those real flames. Actually, it looks like flames, doesn't it? That's why they call them real flames. I tell you what, beautiful workmanship. And that red paint is just sparkling. You can see the bottom side of the rocker is looking absolutely beautiful. The whole car is gorgeous. And then we got these balonies in the back, these Mickey Thompson monsters. Let's see if we're going to find the size on these babies. Let me roll them over here a little bit. There it is. 33215 by 15s. And again, we got the same good looking lightweight uh, weld wheels. We're going to lower this baby down and look under the hood. All right, there she is, baby. Look at that ramjet, all polished up, looking sweet. 454 GM Performance Motor sitting underneath that. Tell you what, she is absolutely gorgeous, isn't she? All polished up, looking good. And look at that firewall, all custom shaped. Looks like the motor fits right in there. It's like they did it on purpose. She's looking beautiful. You can see the steering shaft there. It's all uh, stainless steel looking good. I love that uh, pass through through the firewall there. Uh, we got the uh, tank here for the power steering. We got the alternator all chromed up. We have a serpentine belt set up. You see all the uh, bracketry here is all aluminum and uh, chrome, either polished aluminum or chrome. See all the pulleys are aluminum and they're all polished up. Um, what else do I see here? We got two big electric fans on this gigantic radiator. 
That radiator is huge going across the whole front of the car. Now normally on these uh, Tri-5s, the radiator is on the other side. This core support is also aftermarket. We got some inner fenders, inner covers here, I guess you'd call them. Uh, the hinges have been jet coated, looking good. We got the dipstick right here for the uh, trans, the dipstick for the motors right here. Uh, just at the heater hoses, look at those. That's slick, isn't it? They don't even look like heater hoses. That's nice, a nice pass through there. Uh, looks like we got electronic ignition back there in the distributor. I mean, everything about this car is sweet, man. We got the, the uh, real frames here, man. It looks like they're hot. So give us a call, 248 974 9513. Damn, it's getting hot. Let Vanguard Motor Sales Park this stream in your driveway.